it's Kylie. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today is such an exciting video. I decided to do a little staycation and I'm going to be staying at Disney's Wilderness Lodge tonight and I am like so excited. I've never stayed at a deluxe Disney resort before so this is like my first time like being in a deluxe resort and I cannot wait. Like I've seen so many pictures and videos of the Wilderness Lodge and it looks so beautiful inside so I'm excited to like see the room, explore the resort, try some food. I'm gonna be eating here, eating a couple meals here and I'm super excited to just explore that, go to the pool and just like see the resort. So I can't wait to take you guys along with me and I really hope you're excited because I'm so excited to go in here like my room is still um not ready yet they said they will send me an update whenever it is ready it said check-in is around three and it's 10 15 right now sometimes they're early so I just decided to come a little early and walk around the resort for a little bit tonight though I am going to be heading to Epcot at 7 30 I have my cast preview for the new Moana attraction in Epcot and I'm super excited for that I'm meeting up with one of my friends and we're gonna explore that together so I will be filming that for you guys and that should be in this vlog so you'll get to see that later tonight and I'm so excited for today like I literally cannot wait to have a sleepover at the wilderness lodge enough of me talking let's go ahead and go inside we we can sit in the lobby and kind of explore the main area until our room is ready. First up, how to be at Starbucks. I got the Venti Apple Crisp Oatmeal Chicken Espresso. So good. Now let's head to the Wilderness Lodge. salad and it came with two sides so I got french fries and grapes and then I got this really delicious s'more like dessert it's called the roaring s'more I'll show it to you so this is the wilderness salad it has cheese some walnuts apples and then like croutons and chicken on top it looks so good guys I just came outside um lunch was really good the salad was really good had a lot of flavor I liked the apples on it and the vinaigrette was delicious. French fries were good, normal Disney fries, but they were good. Anyways, I came outside to sit. The pool is over here to the, my left, which I'm gonna go to later today. I'm just waiting for my room to be ready, but I wanted to show you, I got this thing called the Roaring S'more. I kind of briefly showed it to you while I was eating lunch, but I'm trying it now and it looks so good. So it has like a graham cracker cake and then like a marshmallow filling, a chocolate like ganache type thing, I guess. And it has a little roasted s'more on top and a little Mickey Mouse. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm so excited to try it. Sorry the lighting's kind of dark over here, but it looks so good. I'm excited to try it, but I'm kind of sad to like mess it up because it's so pretty. The presentation, 10 out of 10. Okay, this is so good. Uh, graham cracker cake has like a hint of caramel in it. It's like a caramel graham cracker cake is what it said on the app and then the marshmallow in the middle so good it's so like squishy like marshmallow which is perfect i mean it's straight up marshmallow the top is like a chocolate like mousse type thing i'll show you the inside of it but it's actually really really good and you can find this inside roaring fork at the wilderness lodge it was six dollars and some cents i don't know exactly how much but it was around six dollars this is really good i'm gonna keep eating it and then hopefully my room will be ready soon i just made it in my room so excited let me give you a room tour you first walk in here is the door and then you walk in over here on the left we have a closet with a sliding door i just hung up a couple things in here um you also have your extra pillow and blankets up top and it comes with a bunch of little hangers for you to use you can also slide it open on this side as well there's also one of the like luggage holders if you need to use one of those. Then over here, if we open up this side, you have some cabinet space and then you have your safe. And up here is a steamer to like iron any clothes and stuff that you may have brought. Beside that, we have a little area. Up top, we have our ice bucket that right down the hallway, there's an ice place with a vending machine. And that's where you can get ice to fill up your bucket. Then we have a Keurig machine to use. And it looks kind of like, mm, we have a Keurig machine, but no coffee until you open this drawer. So in here we have some tea. 
Then some little like coffee creamer, some sweeteners, and then our coffee pods to use in the Keurig. And then it also comes with two mugs, a couple of cups, and then some like um, disposable cups if you want to use those instead. So underneath that is a cabinet, and in that cabinet is your mini fridge. So that is this side of the room. Then over here we have the bathroom. So when you walk in, there's a little trash can right here. And then some like cute little lights. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, but a little light right there. Oh, you can like dim it. Turn it on and off with these little buttons. It's so cool. And down here, there's just some like washcloths, um, handheld towels, tissues. In this first cabinet is your hair dryer. And then in this other cabinet is some extra toilet paper and tissues. And then I also just put my toiletries down there. Then we have the beautiful sink, two sides. Um, it came with a bar of soap that was in a box, but I already used it, so I took it out of the box. And then also an H2O body lotion, close-up mirror over here, and then our beautiful big mirror right here. Then over here is the toilet and shower part. It has a sliding door, so if you want to close that, you may. And then over here we have our toilet with a trash can, towels, all that stuff. And then we have a beautiful shower. I'm so thankful it has a sliding glass door because that makes it so much better. Of course, our H2O products, which are locked up, but that's okay. Um, here's our tub, so it can be a bath or a shower. It has a shower head that you can take off and put on, and it has like a rainfall shower head. Okay, let's move into the main part of the room. Okay, so we're done with this half. You walk over here, and here is the beautiful room. So here is a trash and recycle bin. Um, and then over here, so this room has two beds, but it's so cute. There's some outlets with a little table. This is cabins that way. That's so cute. Here is the first bed. They look the exact same, but that's what they look like. I love the like trees on the wall in the background. That's really pretty. So then in the middle of the beds is a little table with, of course, your phone and then any phone numbers of people you might need to call. It has a lot of outlets, like there's two outlets there with some USB ports, and then two over here with more USB ports. So we have light switches here to turn on the trees and the lights. There's tons of lighting in this room, like it's so nice. Okay, then over here is the other bed. I brought my Mickey and Minnie Mouse blanket, which is from Vera Bradley if you want to go get it. I've had people ask me on TikTok where it's from. Then I brought my little Lion King stuffed animal. Isn't it so cute? Over here we have two chairs with a little table in the middle and a cute little mirror. It's like a tree trunk cut out. That's so cute. I love the theming in this room. It's really pretty. And then of course, so you unlock the balcony and it's so pretty out here. So it has two chairs. It's honestly like really spacious like you can walk pretty far i got a water view room because i didn't want to come out on my balcony and just see the parking lot so i requested a water view room and we got one um if you look out you can see like the little waterfall where we were at um earlier today and you can also see the pool so i'm going to show you that right now so over here is the like waterfall area it's like kind of behind that tree and then there's the pool over there which I'm actually about to go to in a little bit. But it is so pretty out here. I'm so excited to like make a cup of coffee in the morning, eat some Mickey waffles, and just sit out here on the balcony. Like that's literally what I'm gonna do in the morning. Yeah, that is my room tour. I'm so excited to stay here. I'm so glad that I finally got into the room. So just know that the deluxe resorts normally take a little longer. My room was ready at three o'clock. I just went up and asked about it and they had my room ready at three. So that was perfect timing. So it's three o'clock now. I'm gonna go hang by the pool for a little bit and then come back and get ready because I'm going to Epcot tonight for my cast preview of the new Moana attraction. I'm so excited and you guys are coming along with me. So stay tuned, don't leave. Our staycation is not over yet. Pool was really nice. It was very hot. It's like 90 degrees today so it was a little warm a little toasty but the weather has been so nice it hasn't rained it's been like slightly cloudy like it's so pretty outside and i'm so excited for epcot tonight i'm about to leave in a few minutes and go i'm meeting one of my friends there and i cannot wait for this preview like i've seen so many people already go to it and they say it's a lot of fun so i'm super excited to go and i am going to film it for you guys um i haven't decided if i'm going to get dinner before i go or get dinner in epcot we'll see 
but um, I'll keep you guys updated and yeah the pool is really nice I didn't film too much of it but I am planning on going back to the pool tomorrow before I leave so I will film more of it tomorrow you guys we are in the Moana yes we're in the Moana we are in it so, so, so crazy oh. this section literally plays music when you touch the water look how cool Journey of Water, inspired by Moana, takes you on a journey through the water cycle. You learn so many fun facts about the water cycle and it's super interactive. I can't wait for this to open on October 16th, 2023. I just got back from Epcot. It was so much fun. The Moana preview was absolutely incredible. Like I love doing it. Um, it was very interactive and they have a lot of stuff to do and it was pretty long too. So that was so much fun. I'm watching Tangle right now. So if that's what you hear playing in the background, that's what it is. Um, I think I'm gonna get ready, finish this movie, then go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. But today was so much fun. Can't wait for tomorrow. So good night guys. I'm gonna place him up order to the Roaring Fork and go pick it up. I wanna get some Mickey waffles because what else do you do when you stay at a Disney resort other than get Mickey waffles for breakfast? So I'm gonna place an order, go pick that up, and then bring it back up here and eat on the balcony. I'm so excited. A couple different restaurants here at the Wilderness Lodge. Um, so they have Geyser's Point Bar and Grill, which is a table service. You do have to have reservations, but they also have a Geyser Point Bar and Grill to go section. So you can place a mobile order to that one and go and pick it up there. It's like the same type of menu kind of as the sit down. Um, I think it's a little, I think it has a little less than the sit down, but there is a um, to go option. Then there's Roaring Fork, which is actually in the same building as the main lobby, kind of down the hall. And that is a quick service restaurant you can mobile order to. That's actually where I'm going to be mobile ordering to right now. And it's right yesterday. Then they have Storybook Dining at Artist Point with Snow White. So that is a character dining that is going to be on the pricier side. And you do have to have reservations for that. Um, and I think it's like family style where they bring out big portions for you all to share and it's kind of like unlimited. Then there's Territory Lounge, which is kind of like a bar and they have a couple like shareable bites, but not, not much food. Then there's Whispering Canyon Cafe, which is another table service option here. You do have to have reservations. And again, I believe it's family style, but it can also be like you order by your entree. Um, that's actually in the main lobby, like right when you walk in those front doors and you turn left, Whispering Canyon Cafe is right there. I think it would be so awesome to eat there one day. Not today. I obviously need to go with a group of people because I think it'd be more fun with a group of people. But those are all the restaurants that you can find here at the Wilderness Lodge. Yeah, I'm going to make my mobile order and head to Roaring Fork. Okay, I just went and picked up my mobile order. So I got um, the kids' Mickey waffles. It comes with two Mickey waffles. And then I got it with a side of bacon and some apple slices. And then it comes with a drink. I just got a little Dasani water because I have my cup of coffee still. Here's the waffles. They also had syrup and stuff you could get, so I got some syrup. Oh, so cute. 
I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Watching Mickey cartoons because um what else would I do in a Disney resort other than watch Mickey cartoons in the morning? Um sadly I've packed up everything. So sad to go, but I had a lot of fun. This resort is so nice. This room was really nice. I loved sitting on the balcony like literally all morning, eating breakfast, drinking my coffee. I have everything packed up. I'm going to go put my stuff in my car and then I'm going to come back and sit by the pool for a little bit. Um I'm just going to chill at the pool for the afternoon and then I'm thinking about going to the parks later. I don't know if I want to go to Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios, so I'm going to like kind of scope out the wait times. And see how it's looking and then we will decide what to do i do i am able to go to the deluxe hours in magic kingdom tonight so deluxe resorts can stay in magic kingdom from 10 p.m to 12 a.m as like an extra extended evening hours and everyone else has to leave at 10 when the park closes so maybe i'll make use of that but i do have to be up really early tomorrow morning so i'm not sure if i'm gonna go yet we'll have to see but yeah i'm gonna take my stuff down check out of the room and then head to the pool. You can check out on your phone, so I'm literally just gonna do the online checkout. Just press a button that says check out now, and it checks you out of your room. And yeah, then you leave. So beautiful. Let's have one more look at the amazing balcony. So pretty. I upgraded for a um, water view room because I really wanted to see the water and not the parking lot so honestly it was really worth it because it's really pretty out there especially in the morning because you can see like um, you can see like the lake out there and you can also see the pool and the waterfall like I'm literally right by the waterfall like right there is the waterfall which is so crazy to me so let me take my stuff out I think I'm gonna walk through the shop one more time just to see if there's anything I want and I'm just gonna walk around the resort a little bit film some stuff for you guys head to the pool, and then we'll leave. So yeah, this was a fun staycation. Thanks guys for coming with me. Let's go have a fun day. I made it home. Thank you so much for following along with me on this little staycation. I had a lot of fun visiting the Wilderness Lodge and going to the cast preview for the new Moana attraction. So much fun. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you guys never miss when I upload another video. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.